I'm Dr. Sophia Olaoshibiko and I'm a lecturer in the School of Computing Science here at the University of Glasgow and my role generally involves research, teaching, admin and anything else that is thrown at me. One of the key challenges I think I have faced is um, going into a room full of academics and researchers in my field. So my research is, is in the area of algorithms and complexity and actually being the only black woman in the room. Immediately the first feeling is, you know, isolation. You feel like you're alone and um, the that fear of, oh my God, am I in the wrong place? It's really hard when there is not enough representation in the research area you're working in. I mean, in the past, I go to conferences, you see a group of people talking and you try to approach them. The conversation kind of dies down and then maybe I don't talk to people the first two, three days. And when I finally get to present my research, maybe you make an impression. Then you see the people who've not been talking to you before coming close and wanting to hear what you have to say. Why is it so difficult that you have to prove yourself before people actually listen to you. You have to work twice as hard, extra hard, to show that you actually uh, have a right to be in the room. I often get, you know, on average, maybe one to three invitations to speak every month. I have a full-time job, several full-time jobs with my initiative. Sometimes you feel bad if you have to say no. And that's, that's really hard on you as a woman of color because there is the underrepresentation and we need more women of color to stand in as role models for people so they can feel like they belong. But when there's so few people and these are the people that are being used over and over, they are not getting paid. They, they do most of it for free and uh, it can get very difficult very quickly. My first advice would be you seek, seek help from people. You know, if you have an idea and you think that you deserve to be in academia, you enjoy, you're passionate about this, reach out to people who are probably doing what you expect that you want to be doing at a later time in the future and ask lots of questions and use that to identify your interest and your the, the aspect of academia that you think would most suit you. Surround yourself with good people, positive people. If there's somebody around you who is putting you down or would just have negative vibes, just delete them. The job itself is hard enough. Uh, you don't want to add in the trouble of having to deal with negative people who are telling you now nah, that's probably too hard. This is not the field that you should go into. Trust me, there is no expectation of who, who you should be, where you should be from in academia. We require everyone to bring in their perspectives. Your say matter, your research matter, you matter. Academia is a very rewarding career and we need all of those perspectives. But what will keep you going is the fact that you love what you're doing and you're passionate about it and um, you keep getting up every time you fall. Expect rejections, it's part of the job. It doesn't mean you're a terrible person. It doesn't mean you're a bad researcher. I think this year alone, I've probably had two or three rejections. And I just keep going. It's almost as if nothing hit me. So it's okay, rejections come in. There are a lot of us, there are a lot of competition. A lot of papers get published or get sent to publishers every day. If yours doesn't get accepted, it doesn't mean you're a bad person. You just have to look at the next uh, venue or the next opportunity. In general, it's important to have a community uh, supporting you, irrespective of uh, the race or the gender. In general, when somebody just tells you something positive about yourself, it helps. But when the person is actually somebody who've gone through your journey or experience before, will understand the challenge, will understand where you're from, will understand how hard you've had to work to get to where you are, and actually telling you that what you're doing matters and that it's significant, I think it goes a long way. And this is something I often do to people I meet, maybe students or, or just within the Nigerian community at the University of Glasgow. Acknowledging how hard it was for me um, to get scholarships, to leave my home country, to get to where I am now. Oftentimes when I see students at the University of Glasgow who are probably doing their masters or maybe undergraduates and uh, who are in places that is, you know, I, I could not even see myself when I was at their career a, um, stage. I, I let them know that they are amazing and, um, and that what they are doing matters. I certainly think that, that the Black History Month matters, particularly because it highlights key achievements 
of underrepresented groups, people who have had to go through challenges to achieve what they've achieved. When you put stories of those people out, I think it goes a long way in inspiring other people, other young generation. It certainly does for me. In contrast to when I was growing up, I wasn't put in touch with stories of people like me, scientists and women engineers. For example, the Hidden Figure movies, uh, seeing what women did with math, with coding. I think that would have transformed so many things for me from the beginning. So I think it certainly matters in the way that um, it educates the younger generation, it inspires them, it motivates them, and in a way, it also lets the groups of people who may think that because you are black, that you probably can't speak English or you can't do this or you can't do that. It educates them in a way that the color doesn't matter. Actually, the color is a strength. I would like to actually applaud the University of Glasgow for the idea towards the Together Against Racism campaign. I think that's a really good step. Some of the things I think the university have done under this uh, umbrella, uh, which are amazing, uh, involves the scholarship, uh, particularly the James Michael Smith uh, PhD scholarship for black UK students. I think that's really good. There have been several training courses as well. For example, the effective bystander, which I have taken uh, as well, which lets you know how you can start forming bias against someone without knowing unconsciously. As well, there's the decolonizing the curriculum, which helps to cut off systemic racism. But of course, there's always room for more. This is in terms of hiring. For instance, when I had my interview, my job interview, I believe everyone on my panel was white, which wasn't a problem. Uh, these are really good people that genuinely want my growth. So I felt comfortable and at home with them. Something the University of Gla um, Glasgow could consider is including black academics and making sure that they are included on the hiring panels and in a way, this would help avoid unconscious bias, which could potentially come up. One, one other idea I have uh, involves University of Glasgow itself. It's hard for me to actually identify the people who are black. So maybe if there is a page that just highlights black and gifted at U of G. I don't know, I just came up with that. Uh, that would show that the University of Glasgow is actually also proud of its black community and that they are not just uh, putting up training courses and the likes online. It's active, active. Uh, support and um, visibility